when I went to London. So, hey, thank you for being here. My name is Ted Cohen Lewis. Um, I am Marine Corps Base Broncos OIC for the Marine Corps portion of the street cordon of the 57th inauguration ceremony, okay? If you do not realize that you are part of the court of the inauguration, go ahead, there you raise your hand. All right, good. I want to make sure. So, what I'm doing here today, uh, me and the first arm and the few staff is here, we're going to make sure that you understand some of the coordinated instructions, some timelines and things, uh, most importantly, some of the guidance that we've been given. Uh, preparation for this has been going on for months and months and months. Uh, it's been going on for about a month and a bit for us. But for the joint team that's running the whole inauguration, this has been going on for about six months. Okay, it's a huge operation as you can imagine. I'm going to blast, blast through this as quick as I can because there's a lot of information put out there just to try to help make sure we're all on the same sheet of music. Bottom line, there's going to be about a little over 200 of us standing on Pennsylvania Avenue along the parade route on either side of the road, okay, in our service office, saluting the outgoing POTUS and saluting the incoming POTUS as part of the parade and the inauguration, okay? There are a lot of little parts that go with that that we're going to cover. But first thing I want to do is ensure that everybody understands the expectations, okay? From moment one, you are representing the Marine Corps, okay? Anybody in the room have been stationed at any time? Okay, so what's the deal, right? You represent the Marine Corps at all times. You are a picture of. The rest of you, we are now a picture of the Marine Corps. We will be on camera. People out on the street will see us. We are going to represent General Miller and ensure that we put forward a good picture of the Marine Corps in support of this ceremonial activity. Okay? Obviously, you want to make sure your uniform looks right. But on top of that, don't be going out and getting stupid Saturday night, and especially not Thursday night. Okay? I, I can't remember right now, but there's actually no kids in order from Major General Becker uh, in charge of the whole thing. It actually says you are not permitted to consume alcohol prior to this event. Okay? Um, be smart. All right? Begin hydrating. Okay? If you haven't done cold weather training before, you may not realize it. Just because it's cold does not mean your body does not need the hydration. You're going to be standing ceremonially for some period of time. All right? The reason that you're going to crash out is either you lock your knees, you are woefully out of shape, or you're dehydrated or not fed long well enough. Take care of your body. Start a couple of days before. You can't take care of your body and hydrate 30 minutes before you get on the bus, right? I hope you all know that. Okay, public affairs guidance, all right? Very, very important with this, okay? The military has been supporting the inauguration since the very first inauguration, okay? That's why we particip participate now, okay? Purely ceremonially, that's the only reason that we are here. We look good to show support for the peaceful transition of power from one administration to the next, okay? He is our commander-in-chief. He being current, he being elect, okay? That's the commander in chief, so it is appropriate for our commander in chief to be honored by his service members, okay? This is a great, uh, great tradition. Uh, it's all about civilian control of the military and peaceful transition, okay? Know your place in your position. Pay attention when we're talking to you about what the drill is going to look like, okay? It's not crazy complicated. Don't overthink it. Just look as good as you can, stand up straight, and look like a Marine. Nobody's going to be focused on whether Benjamin Jones executes an appropriate facing movement. Okay? Just look as good as you can, stand up straight, do the best you can. All right? Very important, though. All right? The general orders that, uh, that go along with this, this comes directly from the military district of Washington, the joint team, uh, the presidential inaugural committee of Congress. Okay? General order number one. All right? Most important things, I hope this thing is uh, a large enough red dot. Uh, not even a red dot today. Uh, anyway, all right, here's the deal. You're not going to be carrying your own privately owned weapons, okay? Obviously, you'll be in uniform, so this is legal tires or nothing. 
No weapons, okay? Don't be bringing a knife, don't be bringing anything. Standing rules of force, okay? This is not the rules of engagement. It's not ROE, it's rough. Rules of force. I know that doesn't work for my uh, English class, so don't correct it. It's a thing. All right? Though we are there ceremonially, you are always entitled to defend yourself, all right? The leaders, all right, myself, Urshark, we are authorized to direct you to defend yourself or assist in defending someone else, okay? Very, very important, okay? The limitations on use of force, rule number four, okay? It is a last resort, all right? There are going to be probably four times the amount of law enforcement on the street as service members, okay? And there's 10,000 service members supporting this thing. There is no need for any of us to jump in and try to stop some zips, demonstrate or something that's off behind you on the sidewalk, all right? You're probably gonna be 15, 20 feet away from the sidewalk, standing on the side of the road with law enforcement behind you, with barriers behind that, than with any civilians, okay? Your job is ceremonial. What you need to focus on is standing there maintaining the military barrier and not get involved. If you must, you never know. Somebody could break through the ranks. Somebody could throw something. Always keep in mind. Keep your barrier. Brush it off. Avoid it. Literally, if somebody throws something and you're able to dodge it, step aside. Step back, okay? Nobody should be getting in your face, nobody should be able to touch you because there will be layers of law enforcement between us and them. There's going to be a lot more details on this when we get on the buses on Sunday. You are going to be issued a standing rules of force card, which we will be required to read to you for rating on each bus. So, if you haven't done this already, I've talked to it, you're going to get a card on it, it's going to be read to you for rating as well. Very, very important that you keep that in mind. Look good, be a tall, proud, good looking or anything, do what you're supposed to do ceremonially, and everything will be fine. Alright, uniform. We're going back and forth a little bit on this. Hopefully, you haven't gotten too many contradictory words, but everybody understand that we're going to be in service outfits with all weather coats and barracks covers, right? The frame cover. That's not the first time anybody's heard it, right? Okay, good. We had originally been told that we would not be wearing badges. Well, if you pay attention, General Miller very clearly said about a month and a half ago, yes, you will. You will always wear badges. That is what we wear with service alphas. Okay? So, the warm weather answer, if we take our alphas off, that one, right? Rock, exactly, with your badges. All right? Please do not show up in your alpha blouse with no badges. All right, so here's what we're going to be doing, okay? Dress rehearsal on Sunday, right? All of us, full dress rehearsal. Zero three is your show time at the Leisure Hall parking lot. If you do not know where the Leisure Hall is, it's A, you are new, B, you have no friends, and C, apparently you don't know how to ask anybody, right? If you don't know, find it now, okay? Off the traffic circle, next to the large and, uh, Black hole. You're all probably too young to think of that as the major dad building, but ask some of your old and they'll tell you the joke. Alright, zero three is going to be show time. That gives us 45 minutes on Sunday morning to account for you, to distribute water and the MREs for those who requested them. Make sure that we're all lined up in the right ways and get on the right buses before we depart at a planned time of 0445. If we do this well, we can cut that time down on, some, on uh, Friday, on actual inauguration day. I don't want us to have to be here 45 minutes early. We should be able to do this with 20 to 30 minutes at, at, at worst case scenario, all right? So, there should be plenty of parking on Sunday, but nobody's going to be here. So that will be a problem. Obviously, the point to this is a whole DOD best rehearsal. Everybody participating is going to be out there, all right? All the Army, all the Navy, Coast Guard, Air Force, us, the parade, everything, all right? So, here's what's gonna happen. Excuse me, we're gonna leave Quantico with permission at 0345. It's all coordinated, we're gonna get on the radio, 
call somebody up and go, hey, we are ready to go, can we move? All right? We're going to get to the Pentagon parking lot and go through a simulated screening. No secret service play on Sunday. Lots of secret service on Friday. All right? So what's going to happen is we get to the parking lot at the Pentagon. We will be met by a joint corridor key member who will, maybe they'll take a roll call on your bus, we're not sure, but they'll definitely take our roster from our bus and they'll file everybody off the bus. We'll go one direction, go through a simulated screening, and get our little cars. Rules of doors, PAO, evacuation guidance. Buses will go around in other directions, simulate the search. Then we'll merge back up with the buses, get on, and go to the Department of Commerce over on 15th Street uh, in Pennsylvania. We'll get off the buses and go into the cafeteria, okay? Just follow whoever gets off the bus first. We gotta loop through the hallway, go down the stairs, into this cafeteria, and that's our staging area. The point, the, the big, big thing we want to get out of Sunday though, is rehearse this as many times as possible. From the cafeteria, we have to stage in the order that we need to line the street, right? That's not simple. We got hallways in an office building. There's 200 and some of us. We are sharing that space with 200 and some army old guard soldiers as well. There's going to be a lot of people, a lot of moving parts. That's what we got to practice, okay? It might seem one day, I promise, it's going to be a little painful, but then we're going to try to keep it to minimal pain. The gist is practice getting lined up. Pretend you more than the secret service, and then march out to our spots. Okay? Moving to the spots, first one's going to go over that to actually demonstrate with some of the staff that's here the basics of how this is going to work. Don't overthink it. If you look smooth and you're standing up straight, nobody's going to cheat when you've got the perfect right face movement, or the perfect about face, or the perfect cancel movement. Look sharp in general, you're going to be fine. Remember, cameras care about the big black car with the flags on the front, right? Exactly, they're not so concerned with us. All right. When we're all done, we'll come home. We should be back here on Quantico around 1400 on Sunday, okay? Should be relatively quick. When you are done, well, that doesn't work, get there. That's what was done. All right, reset that uniform. You'll be sitting on a bus for a while, you'll be sitting down in the cafeteria, right? Your office is going to get nasty, okay? Get impressed. When you talk, there's nobody in your office stopping you from going to the cleaners. They're all going to be open at the Quantico, they're going to be open at the main PX. I checked at the main PX, if you take your Alta Zero on Monday morning, you will have them back on Wednesday afternoon. If you live out in town, even if you find the zips or somebody else going to do them one day, okay? If anything got broken, screwed up, fix it. Reset the uniform, be ready Thursday or Friday. You must bring your cell phone. Might sound strange, but it is a requirement for security and high contingency uh, planning, okay? Bring a charger, bring a charger, maybe you don't bring a charger. Let's be real. Between this room, I'm sure we're talking about about 50 50 Android and Apple phones, there's going to be enough charger just in case. Don't mess with your phone, you don't worry about your battery. Pay attention to battery management, right? Probably not the time to stop trying to download YouTube videos while we're rehearsing. Or your phone will die. Especially on Friday. Bring your chow. Chow will only be eaten on the buses on Sunday. Okay? So whatever food you bring, we're going to eat on the buses before we get out. We need the Pentagon, bus leaders, remind the folks, hey, fill your faces now. Because when you're off the bus, you have to see the food for a couple of three hours. And the back of the bus should be good to go. We'll be providing water for you, um, uh, four bottles each. Those bags have to stay on the bus. When we're in the building, there are limited heads, all right? So the buses have heads. If you can, use it before you get off, okay? Otherwise, hold it or think about the fact that if I got to go, I'm going to go as soon as I get in that building, okay? Uh, smoking will be allowed. You'll see when we get the cafeteria, the courtyard in the middle, the GSA actually lifted the ban on smoking close to buildings for us, for this building. Literally, I'm not kidding. So get smoking in the building, but you also don't have to be 25, 50 feet away. Courtyard is too small. Geometrically, you could not get away from the building. So, they lifted 
With that said, they also stressed the Department of Commerce makes it really, really nice. They said, we must ensure there is no evidence whatsoever that anybody smoked. All right? No lots on the deck in that courtyard at all. Also means if you stub out your cigarette, what is left on the ground? And, uh, and a big old black smudge, right? Don't stub it out on the deck. Figure out another way. Do it on the bottom of your shoe, do it in the dirt, and it's a garden out there, right? Do there's something, zero evidence of smoking. Limit the exploring. Someday, those clothes will be going around. Friday, we are sharing that building with a couple of other entities supporting the inauguration. Most notably on Friday, there's going to be a large contingent from the Congressional Presidential Inaugural Committee. They're the people running the whole show. Okay? We're going to walk right through the lobby where they're staying. Okay? Stay out of their way, they'll stay out of our way, move smartly through. The important thing is do not go rolling off and depending on our exploring, all right? Additional guidance, all right? If you don't have your concern phone number right now, you're wrong, obviously, right? Yes. All right, make damn sure you do before you leave now. Because if you're in, if you're at all late for something going on, you need to let us know. Especially on private. If you can carpool to get here so that you make sure that so and so woke up and is ready, do so. Alright? Pay attention to the weather. Alright? We may not make an email every morning on Thursday to say, oh my god, something's happening. Alright? Pay attention to it. Be mindful of the fact, however, there's a lot of room under your houses. If all of a sudden it's going to be 30 degrees, 20 degrees, really cold, you're not putting sweats on those things. If you get this sweats under your houses, good on you. Uh, I know I can't anymore. So, all right. If you decide to leave the building, which oddly enough is allowed, you will earn yourself a restraint. So the, the civilian armed security men at the Department of Commerce building will say, sure, come on back in. There's your credentials. One stands still, and they will scream you all over again. All right. Keep that in mind if you make that choice. The Army Center State, be respectful of those other services, okay? Uh, we're sharing that space with the old dorm. All right, again, those of you who've been stationary and I, you know what we're talking about. We're talking about a bunch of folks who this is all they do is ceremonies. They're all tall, they're all thin, they all look good, they got really fancy uniforms and all that stuff, okay? They'll be respectful of us, we'll be respectful of them. We'll be on the one side of the cafeteria, then an aisle in the middle, then we'll be on the other side, okay? Mingle if you want, be nice to each other, there is absolutely no place for getting silly, all right? So it's not the time to start going on Facebook and pulling up that O3 Infantry Group uh, meme that talks about how the army does wrong, whatever it may be. They're going, look at that, all right? Don't do it, okay? Staff and serious, you know the deal. Keep that, uh, keep that taken care of. Clean up after ourselves. Okay, again, the Department of Commerce is not charging the government of the military to clean up, we need to make sure it's very clean when we leave. Alright? So on inauguration day, we'll leave 15 minutes later. Hopefully, we only have to be here 15, 20 minutes before we got here on the bus. That's the first time of call. Alright? We'll go to the Pentagon and we'll do the real screen. We'll receive our actual credentials with the pictures that we all took up here a couple months ago, right? We'll move to the Department of Commerce, stay in the cafeteria. They will feed us. We will have breakfast, full breakfast. Okay? We will have about an hour and a half or so probably in that sector before we have to get up on our spots. Okay? We'll go out, we'll stage the outcome of the movement, we'll do the movements that we'll talk about in a second, we'll collapse it, go back inside. We may be waiting about four hours between that evolution and the last evolution where the new president comes back from the Capitol building to the White House. Okay? That's why I say be nice to each other, be polite, be clean, don't wander off. This will be time to wander off. So it's done. Alright? We'll have lunch and then we'll stand by for the call. When we depart after President Trump is now moving from the Capitol building back to the White House, we'll get straight on the buses when I come back down into the cafeteria. 
you shouldn't be doing anything extra on, on uh, Friday, so there shouldn't be anything extra for you to have to go get, because you won't be able to. We're marching from shops to our buses and go home, all right? That may very well be 1700 before we even leave Pennsylvania Avenue, just so you know, all right? Want well, everybody to be aware, it's going to be a long day, okay? Um, Oh, there we go. On Sunday and Friday, bring your attack card. Okay? Thank you. I always think that is obvious, but so maybe it isn't. Bring your attack card. Alright? Don't bring a bunch of additional stuff. Uh, on Sunday, anything that you, uh, that you want to bring, if you think you want to bring a book, I uh, wouldn't unless you don't want to throw it in the way of the way out. Just get the same thing. Don't count on going back in the cafeteria before we leave. Um, same thing goes on Friday. Want to bring a magazine if you don't mind digging into the trash can on the way out? Feel free, I recommend you. Okay? Um, bring your tag, phone charger if you need it, bring your phone. If you don't have a phone, that's fine. If you have one, okay, go ahead. Pretend you don't. Right, bring your phone. Um, that's it. Yeah, stand by for Sir? beautiful direction. Hey, a couple other things. Uh, first of all, Master Sergeant you got to. Uh, first platoon, bring a pen. Bring a pen with you because when you get your uh, your uh, eBay cards and stuff like that, everyone's got to write down certain information on your cards that you keep on your purse the entire time. This is for all, for rehearsal day and for the actual inauguration. So everyone bring a pen. That'll speed up our process once we get to the Pentagon. Because if we got to pass one pen around, it's gonna be a long time before we get to park that parking lot. Uh, and next thing, mark your gear. All right. So if you if you're uh, all in the coat that doesn't have your name stamped in it or stenciled in it or whatever we do these days, get it in there. All right, because when we're in the cafeteria, everybody starts taking their coats off and stuff like that, calling them up, trying to find your coat might be an issue. All right, so be sure you mark your gear. That's it, sir. <coughs> yeah. Charlie, can you turn the lights on on the stage? Okay, so I'm, I'm first Sergeant Boston, as I'm a, as you call me, the senior business guy for this thing. Um, so the march out, although they made it look difficult yesterday to us, because Arnegard, Arnegard gave us a little demonstration, and we're going to simplify it, and we're going to make it look better, okay? Because uh, we don't have the time to uh, practice and, and, and do all these, uh, these crazy drill movements uh, when we're out there. So I'm going to give you a demonstration today. The bottom line is, the only mission out there is to look good and salute. That's it. As the outgoing is coming down, we're gonna salute. As the incoming is coming in, we're gonna salute. And that's it, okay? So that's our only mission, so we gotta make sure we look good. Uh, there's about 220 Marines that are gonna be out there on the street corner. Okay, 100 on each side of the road, and then staff NCOs mixed in behind uh, the, the columns of, of 100 Marines. Okay, so you're gonna be spread out about 15 feet apart from each other. So we're gonna cover a lot of area. So you might be out there for about probably the outgoing, maybe an hour, incoming, maybe two hours, depending if he comes out of his vehicle and uh, you know waves and stuff like that. I watched a couple of videos from the last inauguration and, and President Obama. That's what he did. He came out of his vehicle and he was walking a good amount of the time. So that made it longer. Okay, so you might be out there for maybe two hours. Okay, uh, so don't, please don't pass out. <clears throat> um, so the way it's gonna work is we're gonna start at the Department of Commerce. We're gonna come out and we're gonna start marching right away in column of twos. So if you could imagine in your head right now, that's gonna be a long formation, right? Of 100, 100 Marines in each column, column of twos, that's, that, that's a long formation. So it is your responsibility to make sure you stay in step with the Marine in front of you, okay? Again, we're gonna be spread out. There's gonna be no cadence. Your responsibility is staying in step. Mass Sergeant Gupton, he's going to post you in your spot. I'll be in the front of the formation. I will set the pace. I know to keep it nice and slow, that way we don't have a slinky effect. Okay? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to try, try my best to keep you guys in step the best I can. Just remember, just the guy in front of you, 
Just keep in step with him. And if you all do that, I think we'll be fine. Okay? Biggest thing is, you know, lean back and march. All right? That's it. Lean back and march. And when you do your face movements, look good, look sharp. And then that's all we ask. Okay? That's why we simplify it a little bit. That way you don't have to think about it too much. Okay? And we'll, we'll give you a demonstration. <clears throat> so when you post out there, again, two columns. 100 Marines on one side of the road, 100 Marines on the other side of the road. You'll be facing inboard. The first vehicle that should give you a cue is that press vehicle. Because the press vehicle, from what I'm being told, is a big pickup truck with a bunch of cameras in the back of it. And that's your press vehicle. All right, they'll be recording and taking pictures and stuff like that. Once that vehicle comes by, you will pop to attention. The next convoy after that will be the President's convoy. Once you see the convoy, President's convoy, that's when you will be saluting. When he's about, probably maybe, maybe about, I, I don't know, 20 feet in front of you. As he's coming up, you're going to start your salute. And we'll work on that piece. The timing, we can work on that. All right, once they leave, we're going to collapse the formation and come back out the same way we came in. I know it's a lot. I want to brief you before I show you. That way, at least you have a picture in your mind. Okay, so if I get my, my motivator. Go ahead, Matt, you got, you got something? Yeah, you got it, absolutely. All right, hey, listen up for a second. Just to give you an idea of what the area looks like, you haven't actually been up the wall of Pennsylvania Avenue, it's five lanes wide. <laughs> so it's like, it's like North Carolina Center Interstate. All right, so it's a good thing it's all nice and tight, it's not going to be. And so we were up there this past Monday, and they were taking out, they're taking out light poles, they were moving trash cans, there's going to be nothing out there. Okay, so there shouldn't be anything for you to get caught up on. So when we start to learn practice this, Imagine that you're going to be marching down the center of five lane road. It's going to be in the center median. There's going to be two lanes on each side. With that being said, there's blue spots that are painted along Pennsylvania Avenue where each person is going to be standing. And that blue spot is 12 feet away from the curb. On rehearsal day when we go up there, it's just us. All right, there's no police officers that's going to be uh, practicing the, during rehearsal day. It's just us practicing, us and the Army. And all the other services. Uh, but on actual inter, uh, inaugural day, everybody's going to be out there. And there's about 1,500 total service members and about 5,000 total uh, uh, law enforcement. Oh, yeah. So on, uh, we'll get out there for rehearsal day. There's going to be nothing around except for us. On actual inauguration day, if this is the curb, one pace off the curb is going to be a police officer, another pace is going to be another police officer. Another place going to be another police officer. They're going to be anywhere from three to five police officers deep. And in front of that centermost police officer is where your blue spot's going to be. When you line up, you're actually going to be facing inboard to the road where the president's parade's going to be. And there's going to be four to five police officers behind you. And they're going to be facing this way. All right? And we don't know how many people are actually going to be out there on the streets during, during the actual parade itself. It's probably going to be crowded. I was already telling some of you that. Fox News is already advertising that uh, Sunday is our dress rehearsal. The service members are all going to be at the dress rehearsal. Come out and check it out. So we're probably going to be a lot of looky loos on Sunday. And, and Friday on the actual inauguration day, obviously it's going to be extremely packed. All right, so with that being said, just be sure you're thinking about what you're supposed to be doing. When we do the rehearsal on uh, the Sunday, you know, just pay attention to everything that's going on and, and try, to, try to get that marker of where you're supposed to be. We're going to line you up the same way on inauguration day as we do on practice day. Okay? So when you, when you see us demonstrating up here, we, we're condensing it down so we can so we give you a visual. Alright? Imagine it being much larger. Ima actually imagine it being like walking down the center of the rifle range with the big paved way they got in the center. We're posting somebody every 15 feet to the 500 yard line all the way down to the uh, pits. That's that's about the size of the area that we're posting along. Alright, so it's it's big. Everybody's gonna be spread out 15 feet apart, long way. Check. Okay, like the Mass Horror said, imagine this. A lot longer, right? 100 Marines on each side, uh, plus the staff and COs mixed in as well, right? And they'll be posted with the Marines. So I'm gonna bring everybody out here just so you can have a visual, a step by step of what you're gonna be doing as far as the facing movements, okay? So we have uh, the front of the formation, which I will be at, and I will be setting the pace, okay? Back of the formation, talking about maybe 100 plus Marines back, the Mass Sergeant Gupton. He's gonna be the one giving you the command to post. Once you post, he's gonna say post. It's his responsibility to count the paces. 
So you don't have to worry about counting steps. He will do that, he will tell you to post. Once he says post, post. your very next step, no, nope, because you're going to be marching, right? Post, one more step, freeze, face, outboard, then you're going to walk out. The amount of steps we don't know yet. Roughly about 10 steps out, what we think. Maybe a little bit more. Okay? So turn around and do one more time. Okay, so they're going to come out, right? The mass sergeant, he's going to keep marching with the formation. All right, so we kind of peel them off for you guys to see. We're going step by step, peel them off from the back. You guys kind of picture that? Okay, so when they, when they come out, they're, they're going to take their 10 steps or whatever we say it is. You're going to come to your position of attention. Then you're going to bow face on your own. All right, now as you see, pay attention to me. He turned around first. Not a big deal, okay? I would like it for you, you guys to be on the same, same, same sheet, but it's okay. He comes around first. So he's going to wait on him before he turns around, before he goes to parade rest, right? So one more time, you sit there, mess on, turn around. So you turn around first, you're waiting on him, snap, parade rest at the same time. So we, we got that? So we're going to wait on our partner before we go to parade rest, if I go first. Again, if you guys get confused, please tell me. All right. So we're going to keep going, 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 and the same thing. One more step, squeeze, boom, walking out. Turn around, he's gonna wait. Same time. I don't need a head nod, just right away. Boom, out. Same time, great reps. Okay, formation is, that's gonna keep going, it's not gonna stop. Okay, so here we are, we're all posted. Wall on the street, I'm the last one, I will post. So where's uh, Vigo coming from? Okay, so Vigo's coming from this side, right? Again, you guys are on the street. Here comes the press vehicle, okay? With all their video cameras and all that pickup trucks. Okay, they're, they're, boom, they're coming in. All right, as you see them coming in, we'll pop your attention. Boom, all right, press vehicles all the way through to the end. Right behind them is gonna be who? That's where we're going to have you guys come to attention because behind them is going to be POTUS. As they come, come to the uh, hand salute, again, domino effect. Once he leaves, cut your salute, parade rest. Okay? Pretty simple, right? And collapse. Same concept, okay? Same concept. Stay with me. All right. Once we collapse, you're going to go off my cue, first guys. I'm going to come out in between the first two, and I'm going to halt. That's going to be their cue to collapse. Boom, I'm going to wait. All right, now I'm going to give them the command. Forward, march, then we're going to start marching. And as we're coming, you're going to start collapsing. You're going to take that formation all the way to the Department of Commerce. Okay? Again, your, the only responsibility you have is to lean back, look good, and stay in step with the, the Marine in front of you. That's it. Everybody knows, knows how to do a right face, right? Everybody knows how to do that. About face easy. Okay, so now we can see. A couple quick points. Notice, everybody notice on the way in there, right? Second to last two, they faced at different times, right? Didn't matter though, did it? They fixed it. Just phase off the person or pop. the Marine opposite you, <coughs> fix it, it's okay, don't worry about it. Also notice, nobody's doing snap movements at 120 beats per, right? Everybody knows the difference, right? You remember first and second phase, drill is at this pace, and all of a sudden, oh my God, it's final drill. Seniors from got us flying at 120, right? You don't have to do that, okay? We're not, we're not doing the oh my God, right? How does the Marine salute the Marine one on the, on the President's uh, on White House lawn? It kind of does it, right? It's not a slow funeral salute, but it's also not a race, okay? Gotta go to great rest, all right? It's not a race. Uh, that's when things start getting silly, okay? Just phase off the ring oxygen. Okay, full speed, here we go. Remember, we're, we're gonna start off inside the building. As soon as we come out, that's when we're gonna start marching. Forward, march.
Okay, so here we go. Okay, pick up truck, come on. Press me, what? What does that mean? Come to attention. Right behind him is who? President. Your salute, cut your salute. Well, you ready to rest on your own. Domino effect. Okay, depending, I, and when we go out there, we'll play with it, Matt, but you should be able to see the Marine on your right when he salutes and when he cuts his salute. Again, it should be a domino effect. First time. I think we're good. Hey, one thing we did just uh, fail to do, the first time we come out from the Commerce Building and Post, President Obama is coming from the White House, which is that way. All right? Once he's done and we go back in and come back out the second time, it's going to be President Trump coming from the Capitol building, which is this way. So instead of us coming like we just did, it'll be the opposite direction. Does that make sense? Then I put it out. Good good point. Point. So just remember, President Obama is leading from where? The White House, right? Coming, coming, in, uh, coming in from one way, leaving the other way. President Trump is coming from where? The opposite side. Okay, so the salutes will start in different ends. Okay, but again, that's going to be easy because there'll be Marines on the corners that will know that and will start off with salutes. Okay, so it wouldn't be your responsibility so much to know that. All right, so here we go. Everything's done. Here I go. I'm going to come out. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to halt. Follow the word. March. How'd that look? Yeah. Yeah. Cool, right? okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. Anyway, it looks, it looks good, okay? But it's gonna look even better depending on you guys, okay? Remember, all, you, you gotta think about yourself. That's it. Lean back and march. That's all you gotta think about, okay? The better you make it look, the better we all gonna look. All right? Uh, any questions about that? Any questions about the uniforms? Yes. Yes. In both directions of men, communities uh, coming out. Don't know yet. <laughs> That's a good question. I'm gonna say yes. For the partner or saluting? Yes. But we'll yes. give you that answer. We'll let everybody know uh, on our day. First of all, the vice president. Okay, so. Good question. So are you going to start your salute when? When the, when the president comes. He'll be the first vehicle, okay? You're going to cut your salute when the vice president, which is who be in the back, right? So be the last vehicle? Uh, I think they'll just be the second vehicle. Okay, again, so it's just the two. Like First Sergeant said, you don't have to worry about it. Who's the first person to salute the Marines? You are. Me. I'm going to watch the Army next to me anyhow. Because on one side of me, he's going to be a soldier. And the, one, the rest of you. I'm going to keep off of them anyhow. So you don't have to worry about it. Cue off the Marine next to you. All right? I don't know if the Vice President will be the second vehicle. I'm not sure if the Vice President will be in this motorcade or not. I already will be. Okay. That's where we're supposed to cut our salutes. Okay. There's the guy after the Vice President. But again, that might change. Uh, but but it's like the Colonel said, we'll, we'll, we'll go off of, we'll be on one side, I'll be on the other side, and there'll be people on this end that know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. There are two sectors of court on before us, the Joint and the Army, to get it right first. Good question. Anything else? Yes. Okay, there will be staff NCOs behind those 100 Marines uh, on, the, on the end of the streets. Okay, they'll, they'll be spaced out by every nine Marines. We're also going to have about 20 or so Marines kind of hanging out inside the cafeteria as um, overage or relief, okay? So if you gotta make a head call, Marine passes out, you know, we'll, we'll drag him to the side somehow, inconspicuous, we 
and then uh, then we'll, we'll bring them other marine out and post them there, post them without anybody knowing about it. You will not do anything. You will think to yourself, hmm, interesting. So, you will interesting, <laughs> and you will stand there and maintain your bearing. Those staff ants here behind you will take care of you. Yeah. So you will hold your position. So the question. Uh, first, sorry, what, what will we do if the president approaches us and, and wants to shake our hands or anything like that? That's a good question, but I mean, shake his hand. <laughs> he comes to you, come to attention. Yeah, come to Red attention, salute. 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 Shake his hand. greeting, and shake his hand. And yeah, salute. But if he comes to you, I mean, what's going to look worse? <laughs> you shake, shaking his hand? Or you gaffing him off. <laughs> right? Gaffing him off was a lot worse than you shaking his hand. Just shake his hand. Okay? Um, anything else? Uh, just about a minute to think, like, if the traffic happens, if something were to happen, we would want to do more things like that. That'll be awesome. Yep, that'll be on the cards we'll receive. The question was, I know we have a webcast here, and I don't hear the question, but asking about a rally point, something happens, right? That will be on the cards you receive on game day. In fact, we, we've been kind of we kind of got a bit of a heads up yesterday. There may be something injected on purpose on Sunday to make sure we do know what to do. Yes. Okay. So this question was the final decision made on the uniform items. Okay. The day of, we will get the word on all weather coats <coughs> and gloves. Okay, so as of right now, you're bringing everything. Everything you originally told to bring, gloves, all weather jackets, that will be with you. The day of, we will make that call if you actually need it or not. Okay, as of right now, everything's a go. I know, did you mention about yeah, does, that, does that answer the question, or was your question on which gloves? That question. Ah. All right. Yeah, there's two different kinds of gloves, right? All right, who's been in the Marine Corps four years or less? It's okay. Yeah, right? You got those neoprene looking things, don't you? With the leather palm? All right, we've been in longer. Right? I know we got the leather ones, didn't we? Right? There is no required possession for the new neoprene gloves, but it's what you got. Right? You're not supposed to be able to buy the leather anymore. Bring what you have. It would be nice if you could get the neoprene ones. Okay? I'm not going to try to have people find the leather ones. They're expensive, more expensive anyway. So, I happen to have the neoprene ones. I had to get new gloves and found out at cash sales. I'm like, we don't do the leather ones anymore. Oh, okay. So I got those. If you don't have the neoprene ones, but you can borrow them from somebody in your shop or whatever, do so. If you can't, you can't. It's okay. But with that being said, don't show up with black leather glove shells for repelling. And don't show up with mechanics gloves either. Yeah, show up with mechanics gloves. You, you gotta yes. say stuff like that. You gotta say it. Two options. Two uniform options. <laughs> Anything else? Uniforms, R day, timelines, zero three muster at the parking lot. Make sure you have your, your ID card. Uh, bring child with you if, you if you didn't request MREs. All that stuff will stay in the bus. The only thing you come out with is your uniform, that's it. Don't bring anything extra on Friday, on inauguration day, just your phone and its charger. Don't bother with anything else. All the child will be provided for you, for breakfast and lunch, at no cost to you. If there's any food allergies, is, uh, is any of that stuff being uh, considered for folks for game day? No, good point. Talk to your two-star if you've got a food allergy that may be a problem. We have been told that the lunch on inauguration day is a Chili soup and a sandwich option, uh, along with you know drinks and stuff like that. So if you've got something that if that alerts you right there, like you've got a gluten allergy, or that damn chili soup and sandwich, that's probably not a good thing. Right? Let somebody know as soon as you can, and we will pass that on. The GSA is running all of this for us, and they're doing they're incredibly supportive so far. So let us know, and we'll pass that on. Okay. Actually, one one, 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 one final thing. Some of you sitting here might not, might not be on the, on the finalized roster, just so you know. Yeah, I sent a roster out today, um, and, and it, was, it was cut from the bottom of the roster. If you were towards the bottom, you know you were towards the bottom, you probably got cut off. Um, uh, your platoon sergeant should have that roster, uh, so they, they should be sending you an email if, if, uh, if you were. If you were cut off, you'll put on a standby list. Okay? 
when we talk about the standby Marines, they will show up on Sunday. I'm sorry, Friday. Okay, you will show up on Friday in case uh, one of the Marines on the actual roster is not there. I hate to do it to you, but it's just the way it is. Okay? If the Marines falls out of the, of the, of the roster, you will fill in for him. You understand? All right. Right. One last thing, the latest and greatest, most up-to-date information that we're getting from, from those running this, the, the, um, the joint team uh, and CG, the National Capital Region, is Sunday may have a uniform change because of inclement weather. You listen to the news, you listen to the weather right, it's not going to be pleasant on Saturday and Saturday night, right? All right, a, quote, wintry mix. Yeah, that sounds pretty horrible to me. I'm trying to be polite. My O3 right now is going overdrive, trying not to tell you what I want to tell you, right? But it could be ugly. Sunday could get canceled altogether, all right? So, again, you better have your screen charge phone number right now, all right? What that may entail is that we tell you not to even come in on Sunday. The intent is going to be to make that call Saturday afternoon, all right? Because if it's so bad that we can't do the rehearsal, I also don't, we don't want you having to drive in as well on Sunday morning, because that's a safety problem, right? So, don't put your phone away on Friday night and be like, hey, make it up for Sunday morning, because I'm gonna be out of it, all right? You shouldn't be anyway, because that's, we're gonna know real quick, um, all right? But pay close attention to your phone, keep that thing on you on Saturday, and we'll let you know what, what goes on, okay? Any uniform change that happens, we'll be able to institute it in the park lot anyway. You know, say we, we go with Bravos, I'm not going to make anybody move ribbons, just take our blouses off, put our blouses aside, and we'll go, you know, we'll look like pilots for a while with nothing on it, right? <laughs> You're in the airway, no offense, it's not your fault. That's why we had one of them final comments. One last thing, and I'll shut up, I promise. Uh, on, on rehearsal day, and only on rehearsal day, the north side of Pennsylvania Avenue is not going to be shut down. So when we're walking down the center and we start posting, the south side, which is the right, because we're walking to the east, the south side will take the full steps over to the blue dot. The left side, the north side, will basically just halting, facing, and taking like one or two steps. If you step any further, you're going to be standing in traffic. And that's just bad. So, just, just so you know, so there's no surprises for you on Sunday, or yeah, this Sunday, the north side, the left side, as we're walking down it, is going to be shut down, uh, it's going to be still operational. There's going to be traffic coming up and down. All right, just so that you're not thinking anything's weird. That's it. All good. I think so. All right, if anybody from Pax River has questions, uh, email myself and, and First Shark, and we'll, we'll clarify those for you uh, as best we can, as quickly as we can. So, Ask questions. This is your opportunity, okay? Right now is about the worst time for us to have connectivity problems on, on Quantico, right? Yeah, it's not convenient. Who doesn't know we got connectivity problems right now? All right, you know, you're not admitting it if you don't, if you don't know it. I understand. But, so there's connectivity problems going on with a lot of people you know right now. It's more of a time. Stay in touch. Talk to each other, okay? If you got questions, ask them. If you don't want to ask them right now in front of everybody, I'll be here. Two shots to be here. Ask. Okay. That's it. Thank you. First platoon. Second platoon. Come over here.